focus on layout. Now, as you can see, we have a lot more focus on layout. We're really starting to tackle the obstacles that our users face on a day-by-day -day basis when they're addressing layout. So, when would you use a laser distance reader as opposed to a camera? The first thing is, you know, a lot of these go 25, 35 feet. But if I need to measure the distance of this building, so I can measure, okay, so I get 92 feet. So you can see how quickly, easily, and accurately I can measure long distances. But if you think about who would actually need to do that, if you look up above, you see all the duct work, the sprinklers, the plumbing, the electrical conduit and wire that's run. Every contractor that came in here needed to know how long this building was from one end to the other to be able to estimate how much material they were going to need. And this would be a really quick, easy way to do that and make your estimate when you're doing that job. So, for the first piece, I'm going to need a volunteer. Does anybody know how to work a table? <laughs> so, what I'd like you to Would do... Would you like to use it? I don't want to hand. Alright. Okay, so what I'd like you to do is, could you measure the distance from the floor to the ceiling? While you're doing it. Let me know when you're done. Alright. Uh, <laughs> It's about 15 feet 10 inches. Oh, okay. Yeah. So. Sorry, I failed on that one. <laughs> okay, so we have two models. One does up to 200 feet. The other's up to 260 feet. That's going to be your number one criteria for selecting the laser distance reader. Is does it measure the maximum distance that I'm going to? Do? Next thing is they do a lot of great calculations on board that can help speed up uh, contractors on the job site. So if you're looking at calculating areas, square footage is that if I'm you know, hanging drywall or if I'm installing a new wood floor, that I need to find out the square footage here. So I can use the area function, take two quick measurements, and it'll automatically multiply them together and store them in the community. Some other great things we can do is some calculations. I'm measuring from here to this wall. So I get about 15 feet. But if I'm in, say, like a manufacturing facility and I have a bunch of machinery and say we're going to upgrade our machinery and I need to make sure that the new stuff that we get is going to fit. Well, how do I go measure the layout of our facility when we still have the machines that we own? There's no real clear path. So if I need to go through this and measure to the wall behind this fabric board we got here, what I can do is with our 260 foot laser distance meter, it has an incline sensor. So I can just measure the top of the wall that I'm trying to measure to and it'll automatically calculate the horizontal distance when we straight through the back. So as I go here, as you can see, I get 15 feet. Another thing, if you're remodeling, if we have a group come in here and they say, oh, you know what, Fritz Lock Corners want to remodel this building, we want to tear this, this piece down and open it up, we can just measure to that charger in the back. Same thing. So we get 27 and a half feet. So we have.